How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse and today we're checking out another Kickstarter 3D printer. This is the Mini Toy from West Tech in China. It is another $299 3D printer aimed at being easy to use and specifically aimed at kids. What do I think about it? Well, watch to find out. Ah, welcome back. So this is the campaign for the Mini Toy 3D printer on Kickstarter. So the whole idea behind the Mini Toy is a $299 3D printer that is designed for kids. They're portraying this machine as something that kids can use on their own or with a tiny bit of assistance and print out their own toys. Now they're saying that the whole idea of this machine is it integrated into an app where you can get things in the app and the kids can choose them on the iPad and then send them wirelessly to the printer and then it prints them out. So a lot of you may be familiar with Mattel. They're bringing out their own kid oriented 3D printer very shortly. I believe it's actually currently in production in China. So this is another company trying to crack that market and it's made by Wistec Co who are in China and you know, if you're not familiar with that name, I don't blame you. They're not the most well-known Chinese 3D printing manufacturer, but they do make 3D printers. And I'll show you here, this is their website, and they make the IdeaWork line of printers, which are these ones. So these prop these popped up onto the market a couple of years ago. They are essentially clones of the Up Plus 2s, but they've made them a little bit nicer with a screen in it, a tiny bit of a bigger build volume. And they're actually pretty decent machines from what I understand, but they're not very common. Not many people sell them. But this company has been making 3D printers for a long time. And now they're on Kickstarter with their mini toy. So let's go into the actual specifications of the mini toy. So it has a build volume of 170 by 130 by 140 millimeters, which is you know, about you know, yay big by yay big by about yay big. Yeah, you know, not, not too bad. You could build some pretty big stuff in that. And they're portraying this thing as being safe for kids. And the whole pushing point for that is PLA plastic. So you're not going to be printing any ABS or polycarbonate or anything experimental on this thing at all. It's pretty much PLA only, or they are saying you might be able to do flex PLAs as well, maybe. They're saying it has a 0.4 nozzle, which is pretty much standard. It takes 1.75 millimeter PLA of any different type. There's no cartridge in this machine. And it has a print speed of supposedly 30 to 300 millimeters per second. 300 millimeters per second is stupid fast. I don't think this machine would ever achieve that realistically. 30 is probably more, more realistic or maybe 60. So what do I think about the mini toy 3D printer? I think making 3D printers working with kids is a great idea. I think this machine is a terrible implementation of that. I'll go into why. So here on their campaign, we have a fantastic picture of why I think it's a terrible implementation. So bonus points, it does have a clear cover. So you can see the print while it's going. I did mention in the Anvil Kickstarter campaign video, which you can click there and have a look at it. It has no, no way to see the print while it's printing, which is terrible. At least you can see the print while it's going. But look at that door and look what the kid's doing. There's no locking device or evidence of a sensor or anything in there and indeed one of their videos shows them opening the door for the kid to see the print start what's the point of that they can just then stick their hand in and touch it and they've got this sentence which is really quite funny keep your kids safe you know the saying curiosity burns the hand okay maybe we just made it up but it rings true for most children 3d printers are known for hot nozzles moving metal pieces and other things that can lead to accidental burns and injuries very, very true. So, so far, that's that's true. Okay, how are you going to fix it? Luckily, Mini Toy additionally are 3D pr uh, printing materials. Filaments are toxic free and environmentally friendly. So you can rest assured that your child's fun is safe too. So it sets up a problem and then never solves it. It just starts saying it uses PLA, which yeah, it's environmentally friendly, supposedly fine. It's still melting at 200 degrees Celsius. And that's still the problem there. And they haven't solved the the moving metal pieces. The door doesn't lock. And that's just a huge oversight. Any school trying to get 3D printers into like their primary school, primary school classrooms, they're gonna look at this and just think, no, or they might buy it and then be really disappointed later. 
Right, and then there's the spool. So, I said in the Anvil campaign that the cartridge was a bad idea. If you are designing a 3D printer specifically for kids, a cartridge is a good idea. And I'm saying that because it removes user error. So you can see here in this photograph for their campaign, the spool has unwound. It's unwound off the spool. The wire is gonna kink around something. That entry point into the, the printer itself is at a terrible angle. It's gonna kink around the axle and jam. <laughs> in their own photograph. So in this circumstance, you, you really do need cartridges because kids cannot, like I'm sure they'd work it out eventually, but they don't understand. They've never, you know, had to unwind rope or fishing line or anything like that and understand that plastic will spring out once you relieve tension on it. And once it does, it gets knotted. It just, this is how it happens. So that's a terrible oversight as well. It looks like what they've done and this is me being very cynical, is Steam. So, you know, our Steam education integrated platform adds another dimension to the way your child learns. Steam is big bucks and everyone wants to make their cut on it at the moment. So for those who don't know, Steam is science, technology, engineering, arts, and maths. So the idea behind Steam is to make physical learning possible within school environments. So, you know, kids can learn by doing things and you know projects and stuff like that so it's bringing back these core values into schools which became pretty much chick, uh, ch uh, checking tick boxes against the curriculum so yeah it's, it's, it's a good initiative and a lot of people are trying to make it happen but a lot of people are trying to make money off it 3d printers companies especially are trying to make money off steam and that's what i think they've done here you can see with the design of it there's got the turnkey on the side that looks fun but has no real purpose the eyes that, as far as I can tell, have zero functionality at all. They've just done it to look, to make it look friendly, which I can understand. You want products to look interesting from an industrial design perspective. You want them to look friendly for kids, but it doesn't really add anything to the functionality. This is just another regular rubbish 3D printer wrapped in a pretty plastic box with this app, which supposedly helps you print things. It might just, it might be something as simple as having pre-sliced G code for these various objects in it and then just sends wirelessly. You know, you could do that with an ESP module. I I really, really am not convinced by this project in the slightest as to it actually being useful for kids. So going into the bio of WizTech, you can see, yes, it was founded in 2011 and they have built printers before. They've got some patents and they are in Shenzhen. So they also have their own brand of filaments, which is cool. So yeah, that, that does lead credibility to this machine actually shipping. I don't really doubt it's gonna ship because I mean, in their test videos, they show it being assembled and tested and there's like heaps of them in one room and they're all testing the components and stuff. So I don't doubt that this machine will deliver. You can see there's tons of them. I just don't think it's actually going to be used by kids. I, I It's really missed its mark in my opinion and no HEPA filter as well. So. Another point I often raise now is for kids and for 3D printers, fumes is a big concern. And to be able to filter out those smells and those fumes with a HEPA at least, maybe an activated carbon filter as well, is a really important point and one that's not even considered with this machine. And as one final point, as you go into the campaign, it says it's created by Michael Thomas Franklin. Uh, okay. So I tried to find Michael Thomas Franklin and WizTech, and I found uh, I found this guy who is an American musician and record producer. Possibly not the right one. I also found this, which is the United States Bankruptcy Court uh, of Radio Shack, and the reason that WizTech was in it. If I find find it here, they were a, a vendor for Radio Shack. Interesting. The power of Google is amazing, but I cannot find any any connection between this guy and this campaign apart from that name. What tends to happen with the Chinese companies is they want to get on Kickstarter, they can't do it from China. They need someone in the States or somewhere else where Kickstarter is legal to set up the campaign and be the guy for them behind it. So I think that's what this guy is. I think he's just some no-name somewhere, unless I can be proven wrong. And again, if WizTech is watching this video, get in touch with me 
and let me know more details and let me know what you think because this is just what I'm what I'm trying to glean off the the wonders of the internet. I can't find any other information apart from that Google search. Anyway, that's pretty much it on the Mini Toy 3D printer. The mechanical design looks pretty good for the price point. So I suppose it could be a good entry into a low cost 3D printer and that build volume is fairly large. PLA only may disappoint some people, but for some it might be good. So maybe it's a good idea to buy it if you just want a platform to tinker on. But if you're looking for a 3D printer to activate with your kids, I would not really go for this. I would get something more advanced and work with them on it. Don't just buy something and expect your kids to, to use it because kids are renowned for breaking everything they touch. It's a well-known fact that if you design something as a product designer, you want to test it, you give it to a child and you see if they can if they if they can break it or if it survives that's the best test you can do to a product to see how durable it is imagine doing it with a 3d printer i mean you saw the kids carrying it at the start of the campaign what if they drop it highly likely they will <laughs> so thank you so much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video on makers muse on the west tech mini toy 3d printer i'd love to know what you think in the comments like do you agree with my opinion do you think this thing just completely missed its mark like I do or do you think actually it could be handy for kids? I'd love to know your opinion in the comments below and if this is your first time on Makers Muse please consider subscribing by hitting that button right there so you don't miss any of my future videos. As I said in my previous Kickstarter video I'm doing one every day this week so there's another one coming tomorrow and there might be another one on the weekend I'm not too sure on that but if you don't want to miss them don't forget to subscribe and also I have a Patreon to help support me doing this full time so if you're interested in supporting the channel a dollar a month goes a long way. I also have other tiers as well for bigger perks and if you're interested you can definitely check that out but as I've said before I do this completely free on YouTube and the Patreon is completely optional and it's never required. I look forward to seeing you guys very shortly here on Makers Muse. Catch you later!